equator, northern hemisphere. The area below the equator, northern hemisphere. And now, the most northern point of Kenya is at 5 degrees north. The most northern, I'm using the word the most, the most northern point of Kenya, the most northern point of Kenya is far, is at 5 degrees north. 5 degrees north. And a town, a town known as Kibish. A town known as Kibish. Known as Kibish. K I B I S H I. A town known as Kibish, boys and girls, is found at this point. 5 degrees north. Now, the most southerly, most southerly, from the word south, most southerly point of Kenya is at four and a half degrees south. And the town point, the town point at this point, four and a half degrees, at this point of this, four and a half degrees, is none other than Vanga. None other than Vanga, which is at the border of Kenya and Tanzania. Now remember this, boys and girls. Equator is one of the latitudes. By the way, it is equator divides Kenya into two, almost two equal halves. It passes through the equator. And that's why we always receive sunlight, like, you know, every time since morning up to sunset, so 12 hours. Uh, we are within the equator. And that's why we enjoy the kind of beautiful climate we do enjoy here in Kenya. Now, let's see some of the areas, or rather some of the towns, and which count they are found where equator does pass through. One, Nyahururu town. Nyahururu is found in Laikipia County. You go to Nyahururu, where we see the Thompson Falls, you'll come up to a point as you, as you travel, you'll be told you are now crossing the equator. But in fact, this uh, equator, this, uh, this, this point is actually within that, just within that Nyahururu. Then the other one, number two, Maseno in Kisumo County. Then that's also another place where the equator passes through. So we have said equator passes through in the following areas. Number one, we have Nyahururu in Nyahururu. Nyahururu in which count? Laikipia count. Nyahururu in Laikipia count. Laikipia. Uh -huh. Then we have uh, we have uh, this Kisumu. We have uh, this one is Maseno, sorry. We have Maseno in Kisumu count. Maseno in Kisumu. I'm just be writing the, the count in short form. Uh, Maseno in Kisumu count. Then we also have Endama Ravid. Endama Ravid. Endama Ravid in where? In Baringo count. In Baringo count. Kule Ju Kabisa. In Baringo count. Then we also have Nanuki. Nanuki in also in Laikipia. And then another town where Equator passes through boys and girls is Timboroa. Where is Timboroa? Timboroa is in Washingishu County. Uh, there are still many around the. Also, we have Meru in Meru County. We also have Agadera, Agadara, Aga, Agadera. Yes, is this an experience? Ha, ge, Agadera. Agadera town. Where is it found? This one is found in Garissa County. And last but not least, we have Solai in Nakuru County. So these are some of the towns whereby where the equator passes through. Uh, very quickly, we have Nyaururu, we have Maseno, we have Nabaravi, we have Nanyuki, we have Timboroa, we have Meru, we have Agadera, and then we have what? Solai. Your teacher, Mr. Mangangi, is here to present yet another SST lesson. And this time, our topic is going to be location of Kenya in terms of longitudes. Remember this earth we live on in. It looks like a sphere the way I've drawn here. You remember the North Pole? You remember this one? It looks like that baseball. 
baseball ball. All the people will chase baseball. Amen. And then there are those slides which we call them, we say they are imaginary because you can never see them with naked eyes. I don't know who came up with that idea, but you see, uh, we have to follow what is written in the books. Now, these slides are two. We have the latitudes and the longitudes. Lat longitudes, they are those slides which go from east, which run from east to west, or whatever. And there are quite a many, many of them. The major latitude is equator, and the equator is always marked zero degrees. Then now, that one, our major interest now is now the longitudes. Longitudes, there are those lines which run from North Pole to South Pole, the way you can see here. Now, longitudes are lines that run from North to South, just like these boys and girls. They run from North to South, like that. They run from North to South, boy, my boys and girls. That is from North to South, like this. And there are quite a number of them. There are many. But remember, the bottom line is all these lines are imaginary. You know, to imagine is to believe something is there. You know. And they help. These longitudes, they are very important. Because, number one, they help in locating places in the world, you know, they help in locating what? Locating places, yani, they help you to know which area, where is it found, in, in which part of the world, locating places. And also, they do help in what we call time calculation, time calculation. Those who are in secondary, then maybe upper classes, you know, in SST, you do what we call time calculation. So that you can know if you are traveling from Kenya to UK, if you leave here at Nairobi Airport at around 10, what time you'll be arriving at the Heathrow Airport? Or if you are traveling to the USA, what time will you be arriving at... Uh, you know, New York and the water view. So, longitudes are very important for that because, because they help us to locate places and also to tell us time. Now, uh, Kenya lies between longitude. Now, Kenya is lies between, you know, the word is lie. Kenya lies between longitude. Longitude. Kenya lies between longitude that the four degrees east and the 40 what? And the 42 degrees east. That 4 degrees east and the 42 degrees east. What does this one mean? This, why east east? Why that 4 east and the 42 east? This is because Kenya lies entirely on the east of the Premier region. This is because Kenya lies and I had completely, Kenya and Apatikana, completely to the east, to the east of this great, great longitude, which is known as the prime, prime, prime meridian. Because Kenya is completely found to one side of this line. Which means no part of Kenya is to the west. Of Prime Meridian. Oh, the, oh, Kenya is entirely to the east of Prime Meridian. And the most, listen to this one, the most western point of Kenya is at longitude that 4 degrees, yeah. While the most eastern point of Kenya is to the what? Well, for 2 degrees. The map below will help you to enhance what I've just said. Boys and girls, keep on it. Continue loving this subject, and you go wonders. You will perform wonders. Have a blessed day. May God bless you. Boys and girls, grade five. Today I feel proud to present to you uh, yet another lesson SST. And our topic today is location of Kenya in terms of latitudes. Remember, boys and girls, the world, 
the, the word looks like a spear and uh, there are lines we call them what? There are lines we call them latitudes and uh, there there are two types of lines, latitude 